Hi, thank you for joining us today in Crafting with System 3 Resins. Today we're going to be showing off how mosaic can be used to protect and provide a high gloss finish over an existing piece of art. I'd like to give a shout out to Ellen Carlson for providing this uh, watercolor on canvas. As always, it's important when working with any resin system to make sure you keep it off your skin. It doesn't have any harmful solvents, so you don't have to worry about any gases, but you do want to protect your skin. So mosaic is mixed at a one-to-one -one mixing ratio. For sealing a porous substrate like canvas or wood, it's a two-step application. The first step, you want to provide a very thin seal coat. This is going to prevent bubbles from coming out of the pore substrate into your flood coat when you pour your finish coat. A good rule of thumb when you're applying your seal coat is to start with half ounce per square foot. I only need a tiny amount, about half an ounce here, to quarter ounce of resin, pour the hardener directly on top of the resin. Bringing the total volume to half ounce. When you're mixing, you want to make sure you're scraping the edges. Bring product from the bottom to the top. The epoxy will be cloudy at first. A small volume like this won't take long to mix. I should have it thoroughly mixed within 45 seconds or so. So you can apply this with a, you know, an eighth inch foam roller. We'll put down a thin seal coat. Since this is a very small piece, I'm just going to brush it on. Into this is you want to keep it as thin as possible. You don't want uh, enough film build for a bubble to form. This is going to provide us a nice sealed surface when we pour a thicker flood coat over the top. It might look like I'm brushing it real dry, but that's, that's a good thing. If you get too much on there on a really porous canvas like this, you could definitely get an air bubble. So we're trying to seal all those pores. be ready to pour a flood coat as soon as this gels and it will probably take about five hours in this conditions here so I'll see you then so our seal coat here has been gelling for about six hours good test is if you were to poke it with a stick and nothing's transferring back to the stick we know we're ready to pour our flood coat so when you're pouring a clear flood coat over a uh, piece of wood, a painting, um, you want to pour it at four ounces per square foot. That mass allows it all to self-level and go down like a like a sheet of glass. So this is just under a square foot, but I'm going to mix up four ounces to be on, on the safe side here. As always, a one-to-one -one mix ratio with the Mosaic Arts and Crafts resin. Two ounces of resin into the cup. Two ounces of hardener directly on top of the resin, bringing the total volume to four ounces and mix until thoroughly blended. My clears, I like to mix them a little bit slower. This resin does de-aerate well on its own, but you don't need to make a make a coating work harder than it needs to. So I mix this slower, but for about a minute and 30 seconds. So I like to pour the product evenly around the painting. Get a coat right up to the edges there. And then bring all the runs together using a disposable bristle brush. These little chip brushes, nice and cheap. And it's all gonna self-level, so you don't need a fancy brush that doesn't leave brush marks, because they're all gonna go away anyways. But uh, this is all gonna level out nicely to a nice dead flat glass finish. At this point, if you wanted to, you could torch it. I think it's special about Mosaic is it will DRA quite well on its own without the torch. I'm um, in a flood coat type application and if you're at room temperature conditions all these bubbles will come to the surface and pop naturally. So cover this, create a nice dust free environment to keep any big chunkies from falling in there as it cures and I'm gonna let this sit overnight. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any uh, project ideas or want to show off anything that you've created, uh, send us a link at sales at system3.com. 